What's up everyone? In this video we learn how to get details on a specific post on Instagram. I have chosen a specific post from my feed which we got in the last video. I've chosen this post right here because it is a carousel album meaning that there is multiple images attached to this post. If I use this ID, which is the ID for the post, and the first thing we do is we hit the media endpoint. The media endpoint will give us a little bit more information on the post. Caption, type, URL, permalink, which is a link to the post on Instagram, the time it was posted at, and the user that created it. We then use the same ID to hit the children endpoint. This will return us all of the images associated with this post. In this case, we have two images. For each image, we get an ID, media type, media URL, permalink, timestamp, and a username. Then we just use some HTML to mark it up. We have two images, both that are associated with this one post. We have the caption here. It says posted by me at this date and this time. And here's the actual link to Instagram. If I click on it, we can verify that we're getting the correct data back. Here on Instagram you see we have my post and it contains the two images that we got back. The caption matches and we have successfully gotten back more info on this post. Before I start coding guys hit that subscribe button leave a like that way I can keep bringing you guys more videos. Now the first thing we want to do is open up our index.php file. So at the top of our page, we are going to create a section for our highlighted post. We have specified the ID that we want to highlight. We have echoed it out right here. Then comes the PHP where we actually get the media and the media children. So first off, we're going to go ahead and get the media for this uh, post's ID. Over in our basic display API, we're going to create ourselves another function called get media. I'm going to copy the get paging function and we're going to rename it to get media passing in a media ID. And then we have to specify the correct endpoint to hit, which uses this media ID. The endpoint is our graph base URL. And appending onto that is our media ID. And that is the endpoint we have to hit in order to get more info on that post. We also want to specify the fields we get back for the details. This is a comma separated string of all of the fields that will be returned from Instagram. We're going to get the ID back, the caption, the media type, the media URL, the permalink, the thumbnail URL, the timestamp, and the username. Then we make our API call and we get our response back from Instagram in our media variable here and we're going to dump it out in the raw data text area. Now we can get the children of the media which is going to be those two images we saw. We're going to create a get media children function and again we're going to pass in our highlighted post ID. I'm going to copy our get media function here and we're going to call this one get media children. Again we're going to pass in the media ID and the endpoint for this one is the same except for we have to now append on slash children. Type is still a get and the URL params can all be the same minus the caption. The caption field is not allowed when querying the children endpoint. Now that we have our children, we dump them out in the raw data as well. Now we can hop back over to our browser, refresh our page, and we should see our raw data spit out in a text area with our media and our children endpoint. Here we got the details on the media, caption, media type, URL, permalink, timestamp, and username. Then we got the data, the two images attached to this post. Now we just have to mark it up with some HTML, make it look good, and then we're done. Right below our raw data, we're going to open another div up, and in here we're going to style up our highlighted post. First thing we want to do is we want to create a for each for our children. 
because we want to display out all of the assets. So we're going to do a for each over the media children data as child. We make this a div. And inside here, we also need to do this if check because the media attached to the post might be an image or it might be a video. If it's an image, we're going to display out the image tag with the child media URL. Otherwise, we're going to do a video of the child media URL. Next thing we want is the caption. The caption is going to come from the media variable. Then we're going to display who it was posted by and when it was posted. Then we will display the link so the user can actually click on the link and go to Instagram and see the post for themselves. Last but not least, we'll post out the ID and the media type. So for our highlighted post, the top part here, we are looping over the children for each data as child. And if it's an image, we display the image. If it's not, then we display a video. Below the images or the media that is attached to this post, we display the caption, username, timestamp, permalink. permalink, ID, and the media type. Now if we refresh our page, we should see our highlighted post uh, styled up with some HTML. We should see our two images, and we should see the caption posted by and the link here. However, it's not looking quite right. I must have missed a closing tag somewhere. I believe I do not need to wrap this in a div. That's why they were on separate lines they both had a border. Let's see if that does the trick. I'm going to refresh my website again. Scroll down. There we go. Now it's looking clean. Now our site's ready for launch. So we got the two images attached to this post. We're displaying the caption. It's posted by me at this time. And here's our link. We're going to click on our link again. Verify that it has the two images that we got back from the API and the caption, it matches. And that is how we get more info on a specific post on Instagram. All you need is the ID. Then you can hit the media endpoint to get more details on the post itself. And then you can hit the children endpoint to get any other media assets that have been attached to the post as well. And that is going to wrap up our video. We have successfully gotten more details on a specific post. We have gotten who it was posted by, the time it was posted by, the actual link to the post on Instagram, and most importantly, we have gotten all of the media that is attached to that post. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.